I'm storing my uh, rear blackout guys and one thing I noticed is when you take these covers off these light covers grab the right one you can see this has a seal on it all the way across around the border and that's to keep water out and as soon as you take this off you're exposing your lights to moisture rain water etc and so when you have these it's only screwed down by two screws here and it's really nothing else on it there's no seal there's nothing that holds it up on top or on the side so what I'm doing is I'm running a, a black super weather strip gasket adhesive and this is usually used for like uh, you know rubber gaskets and uh, rubber weather strip stuff so I'm running it around the border this one I already did over here I ran it all the way across the border and on the sides there's a little vent hole still here that it will allow if anything ever gets in there rain or whatever but it shouldn't after you have this sealed up and I have tape on there right now just to hold it on till it dries and yeah to me I just want that I don't want to get condensation and rain in there in the winter days so with this on the cover I mean there's not much protection in my opinion it's going to be to the elements so uh, I'd recommend doing this to your uh, light setup if you're going this route also before you install your uh, kit I'd recommend you know taking everything apart and cleaning it with soap and water and uh, sometimes in here you get some so you can see it starting to wear out you can always spray that with some chrome um, spray paint get it all nice and clean this one seems to be okay but it is look like it's wearing I'll probably do it later but yeah um, make sure you put the weather strip on the weather adhesive on with these plax plastics and as you can see it screws on at the bottom but you might hear a little bit of noise too if you don't have something there it is possible you could put a little piece of uh, foam there like a weather stripping tape something like this uh, I don't have anything thin but you know something like this but on the border but it has to be thinner it's way too thick maybe even that double sided 3M tape would work on this as well just a little strip right there at the top to keep that from rattling because I notice when you, when you screw it in there's nothing that holds that up on top all right quick video of me putting this weather strip on sides a little bit tricky just kind of go on the edge all right you really want to let that get tacky first before you put it on and then as soon as it tacks it takes about five minutes put this on and then screw it down and then we'll do this little section over here as well all right it's gotten tacky it's been a few minutes take your cover and put it back on And that will keep it sealed. Put the screw in. Take some uh, foil tape. Yeah, that's fine. 
I just want to hold that down that way until it dries because that's going to come loose if you don't and then you'll have a hole there and then when it rains water get in there and it defeats the purpose so push that down so you see it coming out a little bit I, I always use foil tape because it sticks really good find this tape at the hardware store Home Depot Lowe's plumbing section I believe For like heating and duct work, a little tighter. All right, and then do the other side. This little tiny reverse light. I I just can't believe it just sits in there like that. When you tighten this down, it's there's still room for it to flop around a little bit. This stuff can be cleaned later if you ever take it apart again. It's just kind of a sticky glue. Can be messy. Let me just put a little dot in there. Oh, see? It's like, they call it gorilla snot because it looks like snot. touched it right there all right we're gonna let that tack all right let's get this on here tape again all right let it dry up this one was a little crooked here so I'm just pushing it before it's totally dry there we go a little straighter there all right and that's it that's all you got to do to get this thing uh, weatherproofed up, I definitely would recommend doing this. If you haven't done it, take it apart and do it. Now I know Billy's not making these no more, but uh, I think Matthew said he's got a bunch of sets available. I think he said he had about six. I don't know if he's going to make any more after that, but if you want one, you can hit him up. Matthew Peterson on my Facebook page. Um, yeah, or you could do it the old school way. I've always done it. Just put the plexi right into the headlights. Um, you're gonna have a little couple little ripples in it, but if you want to do it quick and don't want to have to worry about all this setup, it frustrates you doing stuff like this. Just get a plexi, put it right in the rear lights, screw it in, and be done. This is for the extremely picky people. All right, so next I lined my my drill holes where I need to drill the holes. I marked it right in every spot. And after I marked it, put this on. So I did like a half inch away from here, 17 and 27 eighths. And if you line this up, you got to make just double check, make sure that you can see the dots and I can so I got 1164 drill bit and I'm assuming you go in the middle because you don't want to go on the edge so let's drill some holes right in the middle Let's 
just plastic so real thin plastic all right you can see the hole right there and it looks like I'm a little bit close to the edge there so I'm gonna go a little down on this other one a little low too oh well hopefully hopefully the nuts fit in there it's kind of tight yeah it'll fit and that'll fit okay that's fine now the tricky ones the bottom ones because it's a little bit thinner and if you can see it's very very skinny in there it's not much space so we'll see how that comes out stuff in there and you can see look at that it's barely in there it's like very small I don't, I don't even know how you guys get these in there it's gonna be really tight all right let's do one more it's right between the H where it says right hand this is where I'll be drilling It goes right into that little tiny crack. I mean, it's real small. But I'm assuming that's the way it's done. That's the way I read up on it. That's how I was told to do it. Alright, my little notes here. Next is, uh, you got to put these little things in here spacers the cover goes on and this goes in like that so I, I'm not gonna do that yet if my son was older I'd have him out here helping me he's only three I don't think I'd get much help from a three-year-old all right finally so seems like it fits good So we know this side fits and it does everything, all the screws go in. Now let's do the other side. So half inch right here. Now that I know it, one side fits, I'm assuming this side will, but I'm going to double check just to make sure. half inch should be cut like right in here and then it's probably going to be on the L now half inch yep right in between the L and then the bottom was 20 and 7 eighths Seven eighths, and because I'm gonna double check it just to make sure, oh, I'm off a little hair. Right here. And seventeen at the top one. Don't move around on me. Alright, there's 17. 
and just to make sure that that's all correct again get your piece and I'm gonna hold it up on there and make sure it's right I don't want to I don't want to drill it and then it's be off I want to be the end of the world but I don't have to drill a bunch of holes in this Helper! Helper needed! I need a helper! <laughs> uh, nobody's coming. Guess I'm stuck all by myself. Maybe those little ones down here are kind of hard to get to. Top one's real easy to get to, but... Not the bottom ones. Always something. That's life. Alright, so let's tr see what I can do to get this in here. I you need little tiny itty bitty hands to do this. Let's try to push this screw down like that. There we go. A little more. All right, finally. There we go. So all you got to do is put a screwdriver in there and kind of point it down a little bit. And then screw it as many screws as you can. And yeah, I'm going to have to screw it from the other side. All right, let's do this other one. It's a pain in the butt. Okay, again, bend that one down. Hey, don't lose your bolt like I just did. It's a little bit fiddly, like they say in UK. In England. Oh, you English people. Right, Mike. All right. It's in there. Thank God. Let's flip this over. And, uh... Should screw that in a little bit. That's good. All right, half done. So far, so good. Looks pretty nice. And see what I'm talking about? It needing to be uh, sealed from water. Right in here. Water can seep right in there. And get into your light and actually it looks like I need some more here a little bit still a little bit of a crack uh, it looks pretty good um, let's see what else Matthew gave me. He gave me a little trim piece here. Not really sure how this installs, but he, I think he said it goes onto the plexi. So let's play around with this. Let's get the plexi cover. Now in the show of Knight Rider, you could see that they had four screws at the bottom and a lot of the shots from the show. So keep integrated that into the plexi and it's pre-drilled the holes and it's got magnets on top which is pretty cool and 
I painted the screw tops because these will rust out if you don't. So this should line right up. Well, I don't have to put these in right now, but yeah, that's where the screws go at the bottom. And what else we got going on? Got the cover. Not sure which way this goes, so let's see. I see some I see some notch outs right here that he cut out, so that makes me think that it goes this way. But I'm not quite sure. It could go this way. It seems to fit on there more like that. Yeah, there we go, because that's a cutout for the... Okay, I get it. That's a cutout for the magnets. So that slides right over like that. Got it. What next? Next is those cover pieces. I did have one of the cover pieces come off of the... One of these come off. And it was just a glue problem. So I took some epoxy and I epoxied it back on and I put some on top and here I just put a little bit more and I did the same on this side because I don't want to have that problem again and I also scraped it up a little bit so it, it, the adhesion would be a little bit better but other than that it's the only issue I had with these covers so now let's figure out so now I think it's, it's making sense how how this goes on so I'm assuming okay this one goes on this side and it lines up to those holes a bit of an angle but I think that's because the plexi is yeah the plexi goes down it's not screwed into the hole it should be right there flush and flush it's it's pretty flat here okay now we got this side, line it up with those holes, and I'm assuming these screws are for it. I don't know if those are going to tighten tight enough or not. Yeah, it seems like they tight. He also included these, so I don't know if that's for this or for that not sure what these are for Matthew and I'm, st I'm still thinking these are just more extra spacers for the other piece for the other spacers if you need them all right and then this beautiful piece of art goes right up on the magnets wow I am impressed to say the least on this setup it's really nice it looks just like the stock one now and here's a stock one stock cover that's how it fits on top and I got another the middle piece over here oh, wrong way so the stock one sits up on here like this and so look at that guys that looks exactly stuck it looks exactly the way, the way it should be so I'm amazed this is really really nice and he even included like I said the reflector which this reflector is gonna go under the plexi onto this metal so it's going to be like up under here and i'm going to cut it a little shorter and that's just going to give you the look of this reflector that's stock on the lights that it comes with right here so i'm going to measure that one and i'm going to cut this one to size and then mount that there so it's going to look like it's still the stock light 
through the plexi because these plexis are not black They're, you could still faintly see through them when you take pictures of them you can still see what's behind there a little bit if you get it at a right angle in the right lighting so awesome um, I definitely recommend this um, to anybody out there looking for a blackout that, without any waves in it if you want a flush completely flush look if you want it to look accurate to the show this thing is dead on to, in, in my opinion and the only, you don't really need the screws um, put velcro on that if you wanted to but the screws just give it that extra look that authentic look to it and when you screw them in Matthew said don't screw them in too tight you want to leave them a little loose now the only other thing I got to do is make sure this whole setup fits into the car so that'll be what I'll be I'll be making a new video of that next. Alright guys, the clips that come with it. These are um, so you can mount the covers. The two holes for the covers. And the screws are in the package. And uh, they just slide in. I didn't realize until I took it off. So these go right up in there. Just like that. fit perfect awesome the detail on this thing is really awesome uh, again thanks to Matthew Peterson who uh, revised this and made it even better and shout out to Billy Gunter who is the original designer of this blackout Fortunately, he's not selling them anymore. He might in the future, who knows, but as far as I know, he said he's not selling these anymore, so that's why I had Matthew make me one. All right, one more video with the reflective tape on it. That just gives it a little bit more of a stock look because the blackouts aren't perfectly limo black you still can see through it during the day and it is a little brighter than the stock ones but the stock ones if you think about it it's got a light smoked plastic over that reflector which makes it look darker than that but as soon as you have the blackout over that reflector it's going to look similar to this it, it just won't be as noticeable because it's going to be a blackout and the blackouts are not black black but they're they're dark enough to hide a lot all right here's an old plexiglass I had in the garage a blackout and I just wanted to show you what it looks like see even though it's it's smoked you can still see through it a little bit at certain angles you can tell there's a light under it you can kind of make out the reflector very faintly but as you get back here you can't see it and that's exactly how this one is well actually this one the reflector you can see dead off the bat because there's there's no uh it's too light of a plastic As a matter of fact i don't even think they put tint on that piece of the reflector they did on the lights a little bit but it's not much but the look that it's coming off it, it, it looks like a stock light it doesn't look modified other than the fact that it's darker and that's the look I was going for cops are really picky in California and um, another good thing about that reflector is at night if you're parked on the street and headlights hit it it's gonna reflect off the headlights and you're gonna be able to see your car because your your car is gonna be painted black completely um, let me get a light and see if I can show you what I mean. Even though it's got a blackout over it, the reflector should still shine through it. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but see that? 
See how the light hits it and it kind of reflects more so than the lights kind of reflect too a little bit. You think about it, but see how that's got a reflection at the very bottom. So at least you won't have have your car getting uh, smashed into by some drunk guy going home after the bar because they said they couldn't see your car on the side of the street so that's another good reason why I like that reflector there <laughs>